Welcome back, Agent Nation. <laughs> it's your host, Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. NBA 2K released their season six patch notes. Uh, there's an update that hit yesterday before season six even dropped, I imagine, in preparation to season six. I feel like we've been in season five for centuries, but as we look at the notes, you begin to get excited until you read more. The intro graphic looks really fucking cool. Maybe we're gonna play in different dimensions, potentially. Zero gravity, they say. Maybe that, that's gonna allude to some new events that they mention here in these blog posts. All year, you've been blazing a trail of your own in NBA 2K22. It's time to push it to the limits to see what's possible in my career. Okay, we're pushing it to the limit. That's pretty fucking cool. They even mention that it takes you on an intergalactic journey. Like what? We've never been in outer space before. This is starting to feel like a Fast and Furious movie. But a lot like a modern Fast and Furious movie, a lot more disappointing once you see it. If you're on the last gen version of the game, 2K says they're gonna send you into space with a reminder to complete various quests. They mentioned the level 40 reward is a bunny suit, which we'll get to a little bit later. And they say, avoid getting sucked into any distracting black holes. So I guess along the theme of Space Jam. They also mentioned a lightning BMX bike. I've been waiting for a lightning BMX. Oh my God, I I'm so excited. I imagine as the level 30 reward as your mode of transportation this season, but probably like in a bit of like just pure irony, 2K says, we're not taking the foot off the gas, bringing you fresh environment updates, more original rewards, and a new event to keep you engaged around the city. So a new event leads me to believe there's gonna be one new event. I guess there's something there. As they do every season, I guess they're gonna change the decor around the city. I guess 2K is getting comfortable with just giving you some sort of like aesthetic benefit. And this time it's a bunny suit for your level 40 reward. So the event in question, the new event for season six, the biggest news we've received is this mode called Power Up where they say for 36 hours, you destroy your opposition in some beautiful court in the Greek islands. Interesting. It's a 5v style game using rec matchmaking and there's different power-ups like a lightning power jumpsuit a fire power jumpsuit earth power jumpsuit and a power backpack and two times xp tokens which i mean i guess it could be cool right let's keep an open mind and that's actually when the depression hits the depression hits right there when you finish reading that specific paragraph because in all reality that's all they had. And, and you could go through some of these My Team updates, the My Team content creators, you're gonna have to tell me how excited you are about these. I read through it all, seems kinda interesting, seems unique at least. They mentioned there's gonna be 25 new reward players they're dropping, and each drop is gonna have one higher overall than the next until I guess they get to 99. So they're starting off with a 74 year old gold Giannis Antetokounmpo. And you have to complete these, I guess, simple challenges, but you complete them every day until when you complete them all, season six is over and you get the 99 overall player. I don't know if that excites the my team guys, I'm not sure. It seems interesting, to me at least. They also mentioned they're dropping the first invincible card of 2K22, Dirk Nowitzki, well deserved. And they mentioned there's other rewards for collecting 4,000 cards. Bro, which one of y'all have 4,000 cards? Go outside, it is beautiful today. Please, breathe air outside, dog. 4,000 cards means you, you probably had spent thousands of dollars on NBA 2K. Either that or thousands of hours, which actually might be worse. <laughs> These are all the other Dark Matter cards they're adding into the game, so pause the screen if you care. They have a paragraph here for the W, but it doesn't feel like they added anything. They just told us the season is starting soon. Like, listen to the sentence. Before Smith transitioned to coaching, she had a 14 year career with the WNBA, made seven all-star appearances and won two WNBA championships and was crowned WNBA MVP in 2008. It's more of like a biography on a player slash coach than news you would care about if you clicked on this blog post for NBA 2K. But they mentioned there's gonna be 2K breakthrough gear, an extra badge point, VC, a seasonal clothing bundle, and a custom green release. No, a custom green release, there's no way. I've been waiting for a brand new custom green release. This is it, I'm gonna log on today. They also mentioned the new studio that they're working with, the new publisher, so there's gonna be new music added to the game from Color Studios. I, I don't recognize any of these guys except Smino, so you guys let me know if you recognize any of these artists, but if you fuck with them, their music is now gonna be in the game, so your dick should be half hard. I mean, so maybe if you jump between current and next gen, it is not so bad. But man, after like a slow season five, you just feel like season six was supposed to bang. And drawing you back to when they said, we're not taking our foot off the gas, this definitely feels like taking your foot off the gas. 
So just let me show you the promo video they had put together right here. Um, wow, there's the Lightning BMX bike. There's a face mask, a baseball cap, some clothes, and like that should be enough to get you excited to want to log on. It's a seven second clip. You can't make this stuff up. You really just can't. I don't know what the social team for NBA 2K was thinking particularly, but they put out this post here saying, reach level 40 in my career to earn a bunny suit and a dark matter Josh Giddy. Almost as if to show off the level 40 reward, like it was something that like they should be proud about. <laughs> it, this was promptly removed like two minutes after it was posted, but I reposted it because I thought it was funny. The top replies being Duke Dennis saying, I'm not surprised by how they feel time and time again anymore with the crying laughing emoji. Is 2K even trying anymore? And probably most funniest of them all, Ronnie2K tweeting, get bunny with it. Is this tweet still live? Please tell me it's still live. No, it's deleted. <laughs> I, I get the aspirations. Maybe like they got paid a certain amount from Disney. What's the company that makes the Bugs Bunny? Warner Bros. The purpose of the seasons is to keep things fresh. I guess if they change enough about the aesthetics of the game, they give you new rewards, a new event, that holds you over for 50 days? But when you look at NBA 2K's competition, you can't help but feel as though they are being left behind. Because, I, I, and listen, some of you guys might not like Fortnite, but I love Epic Games. Like with the severe passion, I think what they did for the gaming industry is spectacular. And I feel like they got everybody in a chokehold, and we didn't even talk about it, but un they just released Unreal Engine 5, and like fucking millions of games just came out saying they're gonna be using that engine for their next video game, including Tomb Raider, including um, even The Witcher, the new Witcher game. So all of that being said, when you look at Fortnite, bro, and they have uh, a new part of the map, and like there's no gravity, and now there's, the game is transformed because there's no building. We've never played the game like this. You, I literally felt as though I had to hop on and play it. I was playing it live on stream for a little bit as well. Tune into my Twitch, I'll leave a link in the description. But I was like, bro, this is a new experience. That's what they gave us with the new season. When 2K drops a new season, they'll do some new shit, but it's not a new experience. When 2K drops a new game, they're not dropping a new experience. That's why people are getting tired of it. And, and a new experience doesn't have to mean something very complicated. It could mean like an entirely new level, but they ran the city back for NBA 2K22. It could mean proximity chat so you could actually communicate with your peers in the fucking city. They haven't done that though. It just feels like at every opportunity 2K has received to do something brand new and give us a new experience, they opted instead to just do the thing that like is like the short term, like let's just give him a new outfit for level 40, how about that? The next level 40 needs to be like, whatever, who cares at this point? Like who's still playing NBA 2K22 to the point where they're hitting level 40? I mean, if it's you, man, hey look man, all power to you. Usually the first few days of any patch note dropping is there's some level of excitement like, yo, it's a new season. There's a new reason to want to hop back on. I don't feel that right now. It's actually a lot of pessimism and that's because the bunny suit is like a silly reward. Maybe people will have fun throwing it on, uh, but in all reality, it doesn't make you want to grind for tens of hours just to play the game and unlock. It also doesn't give you a new experience. It's something to do, I guess it's something to work towards, but it definitely is not gonna re-engage people that were disengaged because 2K was lacking. Again, I feel like 2K has their entire focus on other things. They just released WWE game, which has been going pretty viral on social media. They're focused on creating a last and current gen version of NBA 2K23 in like four or five months now. 2K22 just doesn't have their attention. And if season six wasn't any good, I'm not too optimistic future seasons will be. And even though you usually fall back on things like all-star team up, that's been removed. That's not, in the, that's not in the current gen version of the game. It's in the last gen version. It's just overall like, how do we get to this point? Like, how do you allow this to happen? I'm curious how y'all feel, man. Let me know in the comments section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you missed the last bit of news, I'll leave a video on the screen right here. Otherwise, I go live on Twitch. In fact, I'm going live today. I think exactly the time this is going live, actually. So tune in, man. Click the, my Twitch link. Call me Agent00. Otherwise, oh, sorry. That was Agent0. I'm promoing for Agent0. I'm Agent Beamstar. Don't get it twisted. I'll catch you guys in the next one.